Hello friends, eyes are sense organs that allow us to see things around us. The lens present in our eyes help us to focus on objects so that we can see them clearly. But our eyes have limits. We cannot see extremely small objects with our naked eyes. We can only see objects as small as about 0.1 millimeter. Objects that are smaller than 0.1 millimeter are called microscopic things because we need a microscope to see them. By using a microscope, we can study the structure of cells, the tissues, the bacteria, and even the viruses. A peep into a microscope opens up a whole new world for us. So, before we begin, let us take a look at some of the microorganisms and minute structures that we are familiar with. The first one, you can see paramecium moving in pond water, lactobacillus, a rod-shaped bacteria that is used for making curd, stomata, the minute pores present in the surface of the leaves for exchange of gases, the deadly looking claws of a head louse, reproduction in yeast by budding, thread and pinhead like structures that can be seen only under the microscope of bread mold fungus. Don't they look amazing when viewed through the microscope? So friends, in this video, we are going to learn about different types of microscopes, various parts of a microscope, function of each part of a microscope, how to use a microscope correctly, and how to take care of a microscope. We are going to look into three types of microscopes which are generally used in school laboratories. The first one, the hand lens. The second type is the simple microscope or the dissection microscope. And the third type is the compound microscope. A hand lens is a convex lens that is used to produce a magnified image of an object. It has low magnifying power. It can magnify objects only from two to six times. You must have seen some people use a hand lens in order to see things more clearly. A watchmaker while repairing watches, your grandparents for reading a newspaper or reading an expiry date of a medicine. Also, the most common use of a hand lens is in the laboratory to see the parts of a small insect or a pine cone or any other small object. So let us see how to use a hand lens. These are the male pine cones. Probably you may not have noted them so closely, but certainly you must have seen female pine cones hanging from the trees and also collected them. But today we will make a slide of the pollen from the male pine cone. On the surface of the male pine cone, we can see a yellow powdery substance. This is the pollen. We will make a slide of this yellow powdery substance and see with the hand lens. We will take a male pine cone and sprinkle the pieces of the male pine cone on the slide. We can see some scales and the powder which is settled at the bottom of the slide 
is what we are going to see with the hand lens. So, I will remove the scales and we are left with the pollen powder on the slide. Here we can see the yellow powdery substance looking like small particles under the hand lens. Let us move on to another type of microscope called the dissecting microscope or the dissection microscope. They can also be called dissecting microscope or dissection microscope. A dissecting microscope is used to observe whole mounds of small organisms, parts of plants or animals and also for dissecting small organisms, hence the name. This is a dissecting microscope. Let us see the different parts of a dissecting microscope. It has a lens, to magnify the image of an object up to 5 to 10 to 20 times. This lens has 10 x magnification power. x denotes the number of times a lens can magnify the image of an object. Next, we can see a folding arm. It has a folding arm to position the lens right above the object. Then there are the adjustment knobs to move the lens up and down for focusing. There is a stage made up of glass, two clips on the stage a reflecting mirror and the base. Let us see now how to use a dissecting microscope. We will see the slide of the yellow powder dust taken from the male cone of pine. First and foremost, clean the stage. Next, clean the lens. and place it back. Place the slide on the stage and clip it up. Then adjust the mirror onto the object. We can further adjust the lens over the object with the folding arm. Now we will rotate the adjustment knob to bring the object to clear focus. Through the dissection microscope, we can see the pollen grains are appearing much bigger and they have a certain shape which is much different from the small specks of dust that we saw with the help of hand lens. Because these microscopes are expensive, we should also be taking care of them. Let us see what care is required for the dissection microscope. After you finish with your experiment or observation, remove the slide Once again, wipe clean the stage and lens. Just take care that there is no remnant of any glycerin, stain or water on the lens. After that, 
carry the microscope with both hands, one holding the vertical arm and the other hand placed below the microscope when you have to move the microscope from one location to another. And lastly, store the microscope in its polythene cover or in its box. The third type of microscope that we will look into is the compound microscope. A compound microscope has a combination of simple lenses which offer a much higher magnification of the object. Let us see now the parts of a compound microscope which is also called compound light microscope. We will begin looking at the parts of a compound microscope from top till bottom. The first part that we will learn about, the eyepiece. We can see once again 10x written over the eyepiece. That means this lens is going to magnify the image of the object 10 times. It is the first place in the microscope where image magnification of an object takes place. The second part that we move on to is the body tube. When we use a microscope, we look down through the body tube all the way down till the slide. The third part is the revolving nose piece. The revolving nose piece has got objective lenses, which are in short called objectives. They are generally of three power, three powers the low power which gives magnification of 10 times therefore it is labeled as 10x the medium lens power which gives a magnification up to 40 times therefore it is labeled as 40x and the high power objective lens which gives a magnification up to 100 times let us combine the magnifications and see how big the magnification or how big the size of the image would be. If we look at an object, low power objective, which has a magnification 10x, then 10x of the eyepiece multiplied by the 10x of the objective will give us a magnification of 10 into 10, that is 100 times the size of the object. Similarly, the medium lens, medium magnification lens will give us a size of 10 into 40, that is 400 times the size of the object. And the high power magnification lens will give us 10 into 100, that is thousand times the magnified size of the image. Next, we see the stage. As we saw in the dissection microscope, this stage has got a small hole in it. This is where precisely our object should be placed when we place a slide on the stage. So I take the same slide of the pollen grains and this is where I will position the object right over the hole on the stage. On the stage, 
there are these two clips to hold the slide into place. Now, since this is a light microscope, we need light and the light is reflected by this reflector that is a plano concave mirror. This reflector when we are using natural light, we use the plane side of the mirror and when we are using artificial light, we use the concave side of the mirror. After we have reflected the light, then we will adjust the light with the help of a dial over here, which is known as the diaphragm. This diaphragm has got holes of different sizes and depending on how much light we want, we can shift the dial to the required hole. Then there is this base of the microscope, which is horseshoe shaped here and which keeps the microscope stable. Also, the arm of the microscope, let us see how to use a compound light microscope correctly. We will see the same slide of the yellow powder of dust that we had taken from the male cone of pine. First and foremost, lock the low power lens in place. If you remember, 10x is the low power lens. When we rotate the disc, we should be able to hear a click sound while locking the lens in place. After that, raise the low power lens away from the stage. This lens should be facing right above the hole on the stage. After that, adjust the light source and the diaphragm. Here is the diaphragm. As I told you earlier, it has holes of different sizes. Depending on the amount of light that we need, we can adjust the diaphragm. Place the slide on the stage right above the hole. Clip it in place with the help of clips. After that, make sure that the slide object is right above the hole. After that, move the course adjustment in such a way that you can see the object clearly. After that, move the fine adjustment knobs to further sharpen the image of the object. If you want a further magnification of the image, you can go to the higher powered lens. Again, bring it slowly and wait to hear the click sound. As told earlier, if you had focused the object well in the, with the low power lens itself, you would have to use only the fine adjustment. This temporary slide of pollen grains has been prepared with the help of glycerin. But sometimes we can also use stains in order to see the object or its details more clearly. What is the advantage of using stains to look at cells? Well, the cells and cell organelles are transparent. Therefore, certain stains are used to enhance the contrast in the microscopic image. They reveal the details more clearly. 
Some examples of stains are methylene blue and safranin. A compound microscope is a very expensive instrument that is used in a lab. So we have to take utmost care of a compound microscope while using it or while storing it. First and foremost, you should place the microscope with its arm facing yourself and 15 centimeters away from the edge of the table to prevent its accidental fall. When your slide is set at high power objective lens, never use the coarse focus knob because if you use it, the lens can get damaged or the slide may break if you ram the lens into the slide. Do not allow direct sun rays to strike the mirror. Use the plain mirror side for natural daylight and concave mirror for artificial light. When you are done, first bring the low power above the object. Remove the glass slide. Wipe the lens and stage. Use only lens cleaning tissue for cleaning, not any rough cloth. After use, Lower the body tube so that the microscope fits into its box. Hold the microscope with both hands, one hand holding the arm of the microscope and the other hand firmly placed below the microscope when you are shifting it from one location to another. Always store the microscope in a polythene cover. Or in its wooden box. Here we have covered it with a polythene cover, but there is also a wooden box. You may be wanting to ask me a question. Your question could be, what if I want to see images at even higher magnification than the high power lens of compound microscope? Well, in order to see even greater details, there is the electron microscope, which can magnify the image of an object up to 15,000 times. So dear friends, we have seen that there is a vast world of things to see and learn about with the aid of microscopes. I'm sure that today the mystery surrounding the microscopes has been solved and also that you have gained mastery on how to use a microscope. Thank you.